Right. Welcome back to Southeast Texas Weekly. Once again, Godfrey Lager with the Democratic Party, David Bella with the Republican Party here to tell us, here to, here to argue it out uh, because, by golly, Southeast Texans are concerned about these issues. Really, you know, down home, the things that happen in Washington, surprise, surprise, affect us. Among these things, this whole tone of uh, what was uh, what was thought to, to, to be an era where we might, as a culture, begin to talk about a post-racial era, where we might uh, be able to reconcile among the, among the races. In the midst of that, this issue of the Ag Secretary, Tom Vilsack, fairly quickly in the in the in the controversy firing Shirley Sherrod for what appeared to be uh, racial comments about, about not helping a white Georgia farmer as much as she might others subsequent to that there was uh, uh, re reports surfaced uh, that those con those comments had been taken out of context as and, most and were all together are, right. and, and and were all together different than than what we had initially thought but the secretary offered to resign because of firing her in such a rapid manner. Should that resignation have been accepted? I wouldn't have been unhappy about it because he did overreact. He should have gotten his facts straight before he acted. If the president chose not to accept his resignation. That's the president's business, not my business. David? You know, this really shows how bad <clears throat> a problem the Obama administration has with corruption and scandals within his his party. What is because a corruption and scandal in there? They, he's, they had so many of his administration, they found out that they were tax evaders and, and had these problems. He's had so many people step down. And so when this video came up, that shows you how bad his administration has a problem when they were ready to just fire her like that without even waiting to see the real story. So that... This uh, this video did not this, this and there's no the corruption. video on the internet did not fire Shirley, the administration Obama administration did and they did that so quickly because well, they have really. so many other people that they had to do that and so they didn't want to take a chance. Vilsack with asked Shirley. for her asked for her resignation letter, and the administration did not accept it. Okay, and it, don't go throwing rocks at Democrats about scandals and and all this stuff, because there's plenty of them in the Republican Party, I assure you. Well, you know what's funny? That Shirley actually was accept, was given a, another job, and she didn't accept it. And I think it's because now that she had the spotlight, the media caught wind of other things that she was involved with. For instance, she was involved with this big um, lawsuit against uh, the government, a bunch of black farmers suing for, for discrimination. And she was spearheaded that, and she actually got 80000 black farmers a, a big multi-billion dollar paycheck at the taxpayers expense will come to find out there aren't even 80,000 black farmers in America I so she swindled the taxpayers of money and so that's why she's not going back into office because she's tainted now I can't sit she's here tainted. and tell you that that's all a bunch of hogwash but if I did a little research I bet I'd find some hogwash in there as there usually is in Republican talking points on this stuff it's half truths misrepresentations yada 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 is again, there in again. fact hogwash in this matter of what the president has uh, has said and then done with regard to Iraq and the campaigning uh, for the presidency we were told uh, that that the war that really the wars would end fairly would, would end fairly soon that there was a that there was a, a priority list uh, uh, on which America could expect to bring its troops home fairly quickly. We should have never been in Iraq to begin with. We should have left as soon as possible. Yeah, we should have went after uh, Saddam Hussein. I mean, uh, Osama bin Laden. But a more elegant way to do it would have been to go in with special forces team and, and not use the, the huge force of the military and try and occupy the country. And public opinion is turning on this issue. And I'm going to tell you something. Once public opinion turns, just like it did with the Vietnam War, you can forget it. Hang it up. We're going to be out of there. The president's second long. Oval Office uh, address is about to be aired uh, fairly soon. Yes. An address that will center on this matter of Iraq and the pullout, the official pullout of combat troops, uh, in a sense, from, from Iraq. Uh, will this address tell us something we didn't know before, David? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, the... During the end of the Bush administration, he had already created agreements to actually start pulling out right about this time anyways from Iraq. 
And the reason it took so long is because Bush did all the hard work. Bush is the one who, who, had to, who went in there, took over the country from a brutal dictator who killed tens of thousands of his own people. Women could not vote and turn that country around. They now have a government. He trained their forces to be able to take over the security uh, force, the security uh, detail. And so now Obama is benefiting from all Bush's hard work. And so yes, Iraq is now becoming stable enough. And also thanks to the, um, to the, uh, the surge in troops, Iraq is stable enough that we can start pulling out. We'll still be there. There will still be combat troops there if something happens. Oh, just yeah. David, We're Southeast really Texas blood and treasure has been invested in these wars. A great many Southeast Texas families have lent their young people to the military service in Iraq and Afghanistan. Did the, uh, did the Bush administration uh, act rightly in beginning these wars amid the, uh, the, the perhaps noble causes that you've, that you've mentioned here. A great many critics say that the Republicans were, were in fact too hawkish, that this war was, was never, uh, that it's, it's certainly not accepted by the, the American public right now, but that it was never really fully accepted. Did you know that World War II, even though America went and saved the world, that was not a popular war? Either. With the Republicans. Every, it every war in the history of America, it starts out popular, even the Iraq War, and then over time the people get tired and they don't want to see on the news people getting killed. And so this war is no different than Vietnam or, or uh, well, it's, it's very sure. different from Vietnam, but it's no different from World War II, World War I. Started popular, people get tired of it, but you know what? In 30 years, people are going to look back and say, you know what? We freed a nation, we created a democracy within an area of dictators, and um, there weren't near as many deaths compared to other wars. Godfrey, we, I got to turn we, it over we haven't, we haven't created a nation yet, and we haven't necessarily created a government yet. People it vote, remain, can't they? Uh, women it, can vote. It right? remains to be seen. I'm going to tell you that could turn in a, in a day or a week. Uh, no we more bombing never, the Kurds with, with weapons of mass destruction. This is not going to go quietly, David. The people still hate each other. And, and the Saudis never wanted Bush Sr. to go and take over Saddam because they wanted Saddam there to keep the lid on things. They were scared as hell. Or and you could, Saddam was taken away, the, way, the Iranians this, would come after him. Or you could look at it from this matter of stabilizing the region, that a stronger Iraq well, the, opposes the, the right wing to think Iraq. tanks before Bush ever got into office had this concept of creating a democracy in the Middle East and have it infect the other countries with democracy. But that was a pipe dream. It's not ever going to happen. And We've just wasted a lot of time, money, and soldiers' blood for nothing. Well, you, what do you, tell you know them? that it wasn't Bush that just said, "Hey, let's do this." You had the CIA, the 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 other uh, information agencies from around the world. No, everybody said, "Hey, this guy's got weapons of mass destruction. He used them in the Final past." Final quick words. So it, it's it wasn't. There might have been some problems with with intelligence, but the, the CIA guy Bush walked guy. into Bush's office. He knew the answer he was supposed to give, and he stood up and gave the answer Bush wanted. What about the he other countries? It, huh? that, okay. Darren Wright, he did. We've got to go to break. When we come back, uh, subject a little closer to home: 72 migrants found dead in Mexico, an increasingly violent Mexico, just hours drive away from Texas. When we come back, we'll talk about whether. The administration should be doing more to put a lid on that violence.